there are ways to monetize. It's not just Spotify. It's not just these numbers on Spotify. That's why we have patronage services out there, subscription services like Patreon and Bandcamp. For the artists out there that want to tour, once touring is back, <laughs> you can tour, you can play shows, you can sell merch, you can live stream. There's a lot of ways to monetize your fan base and make and 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 give your fans an opportunity to support your art. It doesn't have to just be about Spotify. We don't need to collectively sweat and stress and lament Spotify's low payments. We can all agree that it sucks that this is the the revenue model that everybody has to focus on to place this this arbitrary value onto their art but that's the reality and if you want to play that game this is how you're going to have to play the game you can't just put out a song or an album every three to four years you have to keep your fans engaged and you want to play that spotify game you don't have to but if you want to they're saying we're going to reward you if you release more music more frequently release a song every six weeks you can do that. Even if you only record music every two years, you can still release a song every six weeks. Do that math. If you want to play the Spotify game, I'm not going to tell you how to, how to make your art, how to release your art. But this is the era that we're in right now. Just because the major labels are doing it a certain way, just because the biggest superstars in the world are doing it a certain way, you don't have to do it that way. You actually shouldn't do it that way. Don't look to Taylor Swift on how your release strategy should work. She has hundreds of millions of fans. Do you? Then don't structure how you run your career the same way she structures her, how she runs her career. Spotify's a business. It's to their benefit if they get more music more frequently. That's how to increase their business model. You don't work for Spotify. You don't have to follow what their business model dictates. You can if it's important to you to be successful on Spotify, but that's not the only that's not the, the only way to be successful in music. 